Welcome back to Catholic Lunch Break on AM 1430. This is the weekly show where we catch up with all things Catholic in the greater Houston area. This is Wyatt Goolsby, the executive director of this radio station, KSHJ. If you are a parent who has been considering homeschooling your child, there's lots of supportive families here in the greater Houston area. There's one group in particular who says they're here to provide support, connection, and even resources to help. Join us here on the program to talk more about that is Jessica Counts. She is with the Catholic Home Educators Collective Houston, also known as CHEC, I think is the acronym there. Yes. Jessica, I'm, I'm always trying to work on this this acronym here, Catholic Home Educators Collective Houston. Correct. That's a bit of a, that's a, bit of a mouthful. It so. is. You know, the word <laughs> collective is kind of our identity because you know, we're not a co-op and we're not a coalition. We are right. just about gathering the smaller communities and helping them get together to have more resources, access to more friendships, mm-hmm. and making those connections across our very large archdiocese and beyond. Sure. So you and your family live in Galveston, if I'm thinking correctly? Yes, we do. We well, do. I appreciate you're making the drive here. Yes, thanks for studio. having me. Thank you for having me. You have a really uh, big event coming up uh, this upcoming Saturday, June the 8th, which is a used book and curriculum fair. Tell me a little about what's going on. So in the past, we used to allow our homeschooling families to sell their used, gently used curriculum and resources at our homeschool conference that we always had. And this year, we decided we wanted to separate the event so that we could help co- kind of create that create that community mm-hmm. outside of the conference so that the conference can be more on kind of development of your pedagogy or your philosophy. And then this sale can be a time for you to talk about resources, talk about why you do what you do with people who... Might have questions and maybe make a little bit of money too on those things that are sitting on your shelf. And people certainly have a lot of questions because homeschooling in general has been on the rise. More people, even since the pandemic, have been asking more about how to homeschool, what they have to do, what resources they need. Right. So to do a used books and curriculum fair seems like the it makes a lot of sense. You guys are going to be doing that Saturday morning at St. Francis Cabrini. Um, tell me how you, Jessica, got in- involved in, in check. So I know the the I'm director Diane Aquila and very well from Holy Rosary and I went to the University of St. Thomas and I've been homeschooling for 17 years. My daughter is um, 17 years old so mm-hmm. I've been homeschooling kind of this whole time and I really love to help people get together and pool their resources, pool their talents and make something better than what you could do on your own which is kind of the Catholic model in general. Mm-hmm. You know it's by myself I'm great but together we can do even more. So I have kind of just known Diane just throughout the years and I really share her same vision which is connecting those families connecting us to each other and to the, the world at large tell me why it's so important to incorporate prayer life into what you guys do as a board or as a family oh, I was gonna say as a family as a family but, yeah. well it's you know it's it's not easy to be home with your children all day long it's the greatest reward and so it's important that we kind of always are looking at our angle which is, which is community forever, and that is what heaven is. And so every day is kind of a practice, practicing and working towards that community, and you need, you need a, lot of, a lot of help and grace to do that. So that is where prayer comes in to help us, sustain us, make those choices to get us to where we want to be. Amen. We've run out of time, but I'm going to have you record some PSAs. Jessica okay, Counts with Check. We appreciate your coming in. Yep. Hopefully we can meet some of you guys this weekend. Amen. Thank you.